the CS for Treasury said that Kenya is broke. I think all Kenyans understand what that means. And um, if his report is indeed true and uh, that Kenya is broke, then all Kenyans need to, to be informed uh, properly and to be consulted on how they are going to work towards saving their country from uh, becoming insolvent. That's what we call it. However, we appreciate the, the measures that the national government has put in place and the national treasury. We have seen uh, some of the measures uh, adopted by parliament in terms of bills and uh, laws. And uh, it is time for all of us as Kenyans, because we are the sovereign of this country, to all gather together. The economy is too important and so sacred to be left only to the bureaucrats in Treasury. It is time for all Kenyans to rise up and save their country and uh, whatever can be done to make sure that Kenya is solvent again must be done. And that is why we have said we must stop the wanton wastage and theft of public funds by public officers. We also have said that the government must live within its needs. We know that Kenya raises about 2 trillion shillings from ordinary revenue every year. So the budget of Kenya should not go beyond 2 trillion. But we have a very big budget that is financed through borrowing. And then we have also said um, excessive borrowing that is not in accordance with the law, that is not oversighted by parliament who are the representative, we still believe that there is no taxation without representation. So we must live within our means and we must stop the theft and we must all work together. Not just, this is not a responsibility of national treasure, it's a responsibility of every Kenyan to save our country and to make sure that the little money that we are raising through taxes does not end up in pockets of a few. Um, when the treasury is saying the country is broke. We should not be seeing creation of additional positions for a few so that they can earn salaries and allowances. So we we'll ask and urge Parliament and all the state officers involved in that initiative to shelve it until when Kenya is able to pay its obligations both in terms of debt and in terms of providing services to Kenyans. I need to understand that several uh, state-owned enterprises are going to be privatized. We are also aware that um, the state-owned enterprises have been um, a cause for alarm because of the spend they have on the budget. They spend upwards of uh, 500 billion from the exchequer. So while we understand that, we also understand that Kenya is not fully food secure and part of our sovereignty as the people of Kenya under the constitution of Kenya Article 1 is seeds. So privatizing our only company that makes seeds that are of high quality is a violation of our constitution and is also a violation of our sovereignty as a people of Kenya. We are also careful that it doesn't result in introduction of genetically modified organisms or GMOs which are going to affect everything, even our, our DNA as Kenyans. We want to reserve our DNA by having um, control of Kenyansi. Thank you. So we are urging all players uh, on both sides of the political divide to wait until this report is adopted by the House. As to whether there will be a referendum or not, that is a decision <coughs> by Kenyans, not by politicians. Thank you. We call for fast tracking of the recruitment of an appointment of the commissioners for the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission. On its part, we urge the IBC Secretariat to put in place the measures necessary to prepare for the boundaries review process. We especially ask that a nationwide sensitization campaign be rolled out 
to ensure that the people's expectations are aligned to the provisions of the Constitution.